Hey guys, Skewy here. Just before we start the video, I thought I'd let you know I have a Twitter, I have a Facebook page where I update when I'm streaming, what I'm streaming, all the things that happen to me during stream, and also, of course, I have a Twitch channel which I've just started up. So drop over, give these places a follow. My Twitter is the most common one for me to update you guys on, and it'll keep you up to date with what I'm doing. So hope you enjoy the video. Cheers, drop over, drop a follow. Hey guys, Skewy here. So today's video in a long line of videos on how to play Vigor is my gunfight tips. So having a better weapon all the time in gunfights does not necessarily mean you'll win. The randomness sometime of the sprays from the weapons means you get shit on by a pistol, a shotgun from long range. It is pretty unpredictable sometimes and it's very, very unstable I'll say. Yes, Swomies will get you a lot of kills. Yes, your AKs will get you a lot of kills. Your IZHs will get you close range kills. But gunfight tips from me personally are long range engagements and playing with their minds. So rotating, moving, using the terrain. But we will start off with basically the first most important element of this game is your crosshair. Now your little crosshair in the middle of the screen, watch it when you crouch. It comes in. It gets smaller. You lay down with the RPK, it's tiny. There's a little cross. That is the fundamental winning piece to this whole game. Crouch, tap fire. Don't full auto. Do not full auto. Play people with fire away engagements. Crouch, Get the crosshair sitting on them, whether they're moving or not, and tap, 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 tap. Do not let the whole clip go. Put it to single fire. If anything, grab two weapons. Put one to single, one to full. Then you can change weapons and full auto all you want. But you watch when you full auto, the crosshair goes open more. So that is going to bend you over so hard. That is why people get pistol kills all the time and you get sniped. Poke your head up, they've got the crosshair on you in third person, tap, 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 bang. Keep your distance. So you hear someone in a house, go out around the house. Look through the windows, wait for them to come out a door. Time is an element, and if anyone wants the crate, if they're inside and you're outside, you've got the advantage. Stay away from houses. Stay away. If you're going to loot, make sure no one's around. If you hear someone, get out of the house. Don't wait for them to come in. It is shit close quarters. So much unpredictability, walls getting caught on, everything. Aim going through the walls. Keep your distance outside. Stay away from houses and close quarters. Yes, close quarters outside can win you games, and full autoing, it can win you things. But from my personal experience... If you are going to win multiple gunfights with little ammunition used and high success rate, you need to avoid houses and close quarters. A lot of people panic when you shoot at them, and from range, if you're tap firing at them, you have more chances to put a couple of bullets on them while they're trying to find where you are, instead of, oh, he's in the doorway, I just shot him, we're good, I got him. So, the next biggest thing I can say is I've touched on it a bit but if you see someone rotate on them and shoot no one sound hauls in this game I do not know why the sound to me is you can hear someone coming before you can see them or they can see you it is a little bit confusing sometimes but if you can't hear see anyone from where the distance from where you can I just fucked that up from where you can hear them rotate so say they're coming north rotate east around in a circular motion every gunfight should be played in a circle I cannot stress this enough if you're going to win gunfights don't sit still because people will pick you off if you get third partied you've got more of a chance when you're rotating for your enemy to get third partied or people hearing gunfire and you're rotating you've got more of a chance to pick up the third party coming through and then get the other guy. So rotating is almost in line with crouch and tap fire in the 
best tip I can give you for gunfights. Circular motions all day. Don't sit still and wait and try and listen. If you're going to sit in a bush, fine, but don't complain when you get picked off. Rotate all the time. Always move. Always have a plan of where you're going to go. Fleeing is an option. If they shoot, jump, zigzag, move. Jump around, keep moving, use cover. Make sure when you're zigzagging, you rotate around from where they're shooting. Use your camera, because it's in third person. Use your camera to see where they're shooting you from. Keep zigzagging and jump. And then line them up when you get a better spot. Wait for them to reload. Wait for them to move. You know where they are. If you rotate, they don't know where you are. So, at the start of the match, you should already be looking at everyone's loadout. Take note of how many shotguns, AURs, sniper rifles, all that. Take note of everything. Because if you think, okay, three shotguns, these guys, shotgun people run at you. If, you, if they hear anything, they run at it. Full pelt. Because they have a shotgun and it's fucking retarded. So take note. If you see someone with a, two people with a swomi, okay, normally when I hear a swomi or see a swomi, I wait to hear them because these people chase people down. Once you hear it going off, you know where they are. Either take them on or move away. Normally, they just let all their ammunition go and they're pretty, pretty low by the time they get to the third, fourth squad they've killed. So it is easy to take them out. If you see a lobby with all Thompson's, PM's, Pigeons, don't be afraid to go aggressive. Practice your killing, your gunfights. Practice these things I'm giving you in the Thompson lobbies. You see everyone with the Thompson and pistols? Go nuts. Start shooting at people. Even go into houses. Try and put yourself at a disadvantage to learn these gunfights. So when you get in the Swomi and the AUR and the M21s, you know how to handle yourself, how to rotate, how to move, always move. I can't stress that enough. So, watch the enemy move. Watch how they move. So when someone takes a pot shot at you, or if you're just watching someone run across the map, look at the gun they've got, look at what they're doing, line them up, take a few shots, see what they do. Watch people. Because patience is the key in this game, is the ultimate key in this game. Everyone wants the crate and the radiation's coming. So say the crate's on the ground, put yourself in a position, even if you don't know how many or where, where you can see the crate from three angles, so three sides, and if you can see someone going up to it. Don't worry about the side they can't, you can't see, because once they take the crate, it goes down and they're exposed. So sit somewhere where you've got cover, Pop, 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 as soon as they try and take it. Patience is the key. So if you're watching people, take it slow, take it calm. If you see two people fighting, wait till one wins, take a few shots. Or if you want to just get in there, see who's taking the most shots, try and kill him, then move to the next guy. Patience is key in gunfights. Having a mild head is key. A lot of people panic fire. So if you get shot at, Make sure you move, turn on them, take a few shots, go again. So, this isn't a gunfight tip, my last one. It's for more of a match tip, but it's also for gunfights. Take time out to listen to the gunfights. If you hear someone absolutely unloading bullets, full clips at a time, rookie error. You know that's a rookie error. That they don't know what they're doing, and they're just panicking. So you think, okay, Swami just let a whole clip go. He's obviously not that experienced. Let's go. If you hear people tap, 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 and you notice the weapon is a Swami, I need to be careful of that guy because you know, he's he knows what he's doing. So you rotate on him. Go find the tower. Try locate him. Maybe wait for the crepe. It's all about strategy. Gunfights in this game aren't about running up to people and putting a heap of bullets in them. It's about tactics, strategy, and outplaying people. Thought. So basically, that is my guide for winning gunfights, guys. 
So I'll just run through them again. So crouch and tap fire. Keep your distance, long range. Avoid houses, which is long range. Rotate. Move all the time. Move all the time. Do not sit still. Move your location. Fleeing is an option. Make sure you jump, zigzag, walk around, rotate, all that. Take note of what your enemy has in their kit at the start of the match. Watch them move, watch them fire, listen to gunfights. Just take information in. If you play Siege and you follow my channel for Siege, you are a human drone. Your gunfights are going to be won by the information you take in moving through the map. Take these on board and the game will be simple, guys. I guarantee I can get... 10 to 15 crates a day on a stream sometimes but at least two kills a match up to five kills a match unless i get outgunned and i die something shit something bullshit it's always bullshit yeah the game doesn't know what's doing but either way guys cheers for catching the video i hope this helps a lot catch my stream on twitch i'll leave a link down in the description I will be happy to talk you through these tips and show you in game while I'm streaming. More than happy to do that, guys. Drop a sub, drop a like, and I'll see you on Twitch stream. Cheers.